Hi, Christina Marie here. Welcome to C2C Come to Christ. A uh, chance to take 10 minutes out of your day or less to just find ways to connect with God throughout your week um, and in your life in general. Today I want to talk about the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit, so three persons in one. You have God, the Father, you have Jesus, the Son, then you have the Holy Spirit. Um, and how do you find the Holy Spirit in your life? What is the Holy Spirit? And I had a fifth grade teacher who once told me that the, um, the little voice in the back of your in the back of your head, or like your conscience, that kind of tells you what's right and wrong. That's the Holy Spirit. That that voice, that nagging, that pulls at your heart. Um, that thought you get that's like, oh, you know, I haven't talked to so and so in X amount of time, and they just pop into your head, and like maybe I maybe I should text, them. maybe I should call them. Um, have you ever had that experience where you're having a rough day and out of nowhere somebody calls you or texts you and says, hey, I was just thinking about you. Um, I don't think anything's a coincidence. I think that that's, that's the Holy Spirit and that's God's way of saying, like, you're okay. There are people here for you. You are loved. You are cared about. Um, and then tying back to last week, we talked about beauty and letting God's love and light shine through you. Um, that example of the Holy Spirit being present in your life. Um, being able to receive it and then being able to give it. And what does that look like? So um, going along with like exuding beauty, I think exuding beauty is exuding the joy and the um, just the genuine joy that comes from knowing God and being fulfilled in your life. And I have an example of this. So I was at, I was out at lunch at Panera Bread with a friend of mine. And there was this young woman who had Down syndrome and she was clearing the tables and was watching her go from table to table with just the biggest smile on her face. And every table she went to, she started a conversation and was so friendly and just genuinely so kind and happy. And she came to our table, started a conversation, just small talk about what we had ordered and, oh, can I clear your plates? I said, yeah, thank you so much. And she gives me kind of a side hug and she goes, oh. I just love hugs and she walked away and she just she to me exuded the perfect example of the Holy Spirit shining through someone and the joy and the love of God shining through someone just by who she was and how she carried herself um, and I think that's what it would look like if we all were able to portray the genuine love of God that God so desperately wants us to receive so that we can give it to other people um, and how do we let the Holy Spirit in? Um, I know it's a little a little vague, it's kind of a hard concept to grasp, but the Holy Spirit being God's presence. How do you let God's presence into your life? And I think it's as simple as saying, here I am, God, I am open. I am open to your love, to your joy, and I want to give that to other people. Um, I was running around the lake today, beautiful, beautiful, clear Colorado day, and making it a point to smile and not at the people going the other way as I was running around. And all the people who smiled back, it made me feel so good. I felt like we were sharing this joy of, isn't it a beautiful day? Isn't it so nice to be outside? Um, have kind of that unspoken, have a great day. Um, and ha, it, it's, such a, it's such a beautiful gift to be able to receive and to be able to give. Um, and so my challenge for you this week is to listen to that voice. Um, if someone pops into your head, call them. Um, make a point to just wake up in the morning and think of a friend, text them and say, hey, I hope you have a great day today. Um, give life, give joy, give, um, give love into someone's life and be able to receive it. Pray each morning, God be my hands and feet as I work today. Um, God be in my heart as I face this situation. God be in my mind, be on my lips, be, be my voice so that I can be kind and compassionate to those around me. Let others see you through me. Let me show that joy. Let me share your spirit with the people around me. Um, so my song for this week is Holy Spirit by Francesca Battistelli. And it's just one of those really good, like, open up your hands and pray, God, come into my life and be in my life. Let me see you in this moment I'm going to experience. Um, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. God, your spirit, your presence is welcome here. Um, and then let us become more aware of your presence. Let us try and find you more. Let us be with you. Let us see you more in our day-to-day -day life. So thanks for watching. 
Um, tune in next week. Uh, take a look at my my songs, my blog, um, my YouTube, my website, and have a blessed week. There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're a living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've chased it unseen. I'm the sweetest of love. My heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place, fill the There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen I'm the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here. Come flood this place. Experience the glory of your good.